What we're going to talk about tonight is what do I do if my family doesn't meet my needs? Or, or maybe what do I do if my partner doesn't meet my needs? Stay tuned. We'll talk about it. Good evening, everybody. I am Chuck Rogers. I'm a licensed professional counselor and a licensed marriage and family therapist. And I am Keith Dunn. I am a network engineer. Who makes my life happy every day with his skills. <laughs> and together we are Tabletop Coffee, where each week we talk about how to do life, do it well. Being bold and never ever. Bitter. Yeah, that's right. Bitter root leads to bitter fruit. Yeah, I wonder how many videos, go back and watch all of our videos and mark down how many times Chuck says that. A lot. Yeah, every video. You have to watch them all though. <laughs> Let us know what you think. Hey, on a more serious note though, please be sure and subscribe and click that bell so you're notified of any upcoming episodes. Make sure to like it. Yeah, make sure to like it. So you already know what we're talking about. Let's get into it. All right, so... You know, I was watching a video today, and... You watch so many videos. I know. I, you know, lunchtime is great. You just go through and watch different things. It's kind of fun. But normally I'm reading, or I'm going through a number of different videos. Yeah. And I ran across one today, and it was this lady, and she was, she was really struggling. She mm. was going through a time where she wanted a certain response from one of her parents, and she wasn't getting anything back from them they weren't mm. responding in the way that she thought that they should so i think she was going through one of these times where she was kind of shooting all over herself yeah this person should like me because and we have a video you should like me i'll put that up here that's how we do and and yeah it's it's really good when you deal with a topic like this but this is a little bit different um, because we're talking about, uh, you know, a family member. It, it could even be your spouse or significant other, mm -hmm. whoever you're, yeah. you're spending time yeah, with. Yeah, so what do I do if yeah. my partner, my spouse, my father, my mother, my sister, ah. my friend, my coworker, fill in the blank. What yeah. do I do if this person isn't meeting my needs? Yeah, and she was having a really hard time with this. Yeah. So is that something you dealt yeah, with? Yeah, it is. It's something that we deal with. All the time in, in the cognitive therapy that I provide for people, we have these negative thoughts. We've talked about them many times on our, our channel. Yeah. And one of those is, you know, this other person often should like me. This right. person should meet my needs. Everybody should like me. Mm -hmm. And it becomes even more difficult when the, the person that you're wanting to meet your needs is a, uh, a parent. Um, right. or a very significant other in your life. Okay. And sometimes I think that we think that just because we share similar DNA as the other person, mm -hmm. that that person is just obligated to meet my needs. Yeah. And it's nice when it happens. <laughs> it's built in. <laughs> but it doesn't always happen that way. And it reminds me, actually, of a, of a story. Okay. A client of mine, this is many years ago, was struggling with this particular issue with her mother. Mm. And my client was adult, <clears throat> and her mother was uh, an older adult even at the time. And each and every time this would come up, and it came up on a very regular basis, where she was saying, my mom isn't meeting my needs in the way that I want them to be met. Right. So I said to her, can we try something? And she said, sure. And we had a good relationship, so she was okay. was trusting of me. And so I I had a stool there in my office, and so I brought it. It's a different stool that I brought with us today. Okay. <laughs> but it's I brought this stool up, and I said, I want you to... I want you to, to hold this stool. And so she did. And I said, I want you to really hold it, hold it gently. Okay. So she said, all right, I will. And I said, Put your, I want you to hug the stool. I want you to just really kind of get into it and hug the stool and, and, and rub the stool and, and give comfort to the stool, stool. And she says, well, you know, this is kind of embarrassing. I said, no, just hold, you know, hold on. <laughs> I can just imagine. Stay through it and, and rub the stool and. And, and talk to it. And she said, are you sure? And I said, absolutely, I want you to, to talk to it. And, and tell it what a great stool it is. She said, oh, you're a great stool. And I said, 
Tell it how good it looks. Well, you're, you're a nice looking stool. Tell it why. Oh, you're so silver and shiny and the stainless steel and you're so strong. That's, that's it. Just really get into it and, and tell it how great you are. And, oh, you're wonderful. And we, we did this for quite a while. And she said, can I stop now? And I said, sure. Okay. And so I, said I know her, I would feel that way. Yeah. So I said, how, how did it feel? She said, well, it felt awful. I said, why? Right. She said, well, it was embarrassing. I said, why? She said, because um, the stool really can't appreciate it. Yeah, that's right. It can't talk back to you or give any feeling no. back. And did what did you get from it? She said, I didn't get anything from it. I was embarrassed. And I said, but why didn't you get anything? And she hmm. said, because the stool doesn't have the ability to to give me anything. It doesn't have the ability mm. to meet my wow. needs. Right. So I said to her, how much longer are you going to continue to hope that your mom right. is going to meet your needs? Yeah. And she said, oh, in that moment, it just really hit me that my mom is a, a stool. Right. It's, it's not that it's bad. It's just that it's never going to be able to mm. give me what I need. Right. It's never going to be able to appreciate what I give to it. And she also began to realize that there were other people in her life, other family members as well, right. that were stools to her. Okay. And that she would never be able to have the relationship with them that she wanted. She could still have them in her life if sure. she wanted to, but that they weren't going to be able to meet her needs hmm. in the way that she was hoping. So how do you know when you're at that point? I think with family, it's probably easier because you have such deep history it's been years and years and years and years of history and it's probably been this way f for as probably. long as you can think mm -hmm. back yeah. but if you go outside of family and you've you've made these friendships and you're expecting more and more out of these friends how do you know when that time is that you put them in that category and say well yeah okay i'm i'm done trying this person has a stool they're not giving me what I need is—is is there a time limit on that? Do you do you know, or do you just? Do I just think it's a judgment call. Okay. When you get to that place that you know that you know that you know that you know. Right. There's no need for me to continue trying. There's no need to continue hoping that this is going to come about. That you yeah. say I'm not going to put any more time, energy, effort into this relationship because it's mm. not. I don't think it's ever going to come around and be what I had hoped for. And yeah. I think it's more difficult sometimes with family because you think that, you know, if I just wait a little longer, they'll come around because they're family. Sometimes it happens, yeah. sometimes it doesn't. It's just a, it's a judgment call. It's hard to know. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's really great. I, I enjoyed the, the lesson that you gave. The, man, I tell you what, these optics lessons they're great <laughs> yeah they do they kind of burn it in don't they yeah they really do <laughs> well thanks for tuning in everybody we hope you liked our content and if you did please go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell yeah and be sure to like it share it with all of your friends thanks everybody until next time all right i didn't bring my dominoes in while they're in the car okay is that it i think that'll work <laughs>